Hi there, this is Annie Business with your friend Simeon. You're welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's quickly discuss on how we can find market for our livestock, be it pigs, be it fish, be it rabbit or chicken. But basically, you know my YouTube channel here, what I talk about most is the fish and the pig and rabbit. This teaching is applicable to all livestock farmer. If you are into piggery, if you are into fish, if you are into rabbitry, if you are into uh, chicken, you can use the same system. Quickly, my name is Simeon O. James. All I deal with is agriculture, livestock, farming, basically. If you're new on my YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can get something relating to what you are looking for on YouTube. We are all here to learn about how to find market for our livestock. But before you as a starter, maybe you are planning to start or you are into it already. This thing is for people who are just planning to start because those who have started has already started. So it's only little correction that can be done to it. The correction, I will explain it as I discuss further. If you are about to start any livestock, I have told you that it is a necessity, it is a must to put one thing into consideration ask yourself this question this thing i'm about to start in this location in this area in this state in this country in this particular place do people demand for it do people consume it what is the rate of people that consume it to the rate of people that doesn't consume it is it forbidden in this land can it do well here? You have to put this question first before the question that majority of people used to ask me. Is it profitable? Is it this? Is it that? If your livestock, if what you are going into is not on demand, if it is not consumable in that area, forget about profits. It is what you sell that you can get money and make profit from. What you don't sell, what you are unable to sell, you cannot get money, talk less of getting profit for it. For instance, you cannot go to the northern side of Nigeria knowing fully that it is a land full of Muslims, like 70-80% of them are Muslims, and start up pig farming expecting to get sales or market there. It's not going to work. It's not like you are not going to sell. But Take for instance, you have up to 150 pieces of pigs and you are looking for markets. How do you think you are going to sell all the pig you have in the farm? Knowing fully that people that consume it to people that doesn't consume it are small. So now the best thing you can do if you have already started before you are realizing or hearing what I'm explaining right now, the best thing you can do in this situation is to have few people, like if you have, let me put it that way, if you have few people that can buy, then start exporting to other states, other country, or other nearby village, you know that people are demanding for it and people are going to consume it. The land you know or the place you know that it is not forbidden, not 100% forbidden. That is when you can get sales market for what you are producing in your farm and also get profit in return. For instance, again, you are going to Saudi Arabia, you are going to United Arab Emirates, right? You are get, going to Pakistan, you are going to all this Muslim country and you are going to start pig farming in that country. See, same explanation. If you are going to start pig farming in the listed countries, you know that your business at first from the foundation is at risk because the people that are going to consume it are foreigners. They are not the people from that land. Just as you that is starting the business there. And the percentage of the people, strangers that are there, they are going to consume it. It's not even going to be equal to half of the citizens of that country. So knowing this, you should know either you export or you don't do the business at all or rather you do it in a small quantity. If you do it in large scale, in a large quantity, then at the end of the day, you are not going to get market or get sales for it. That is not what we want to discuss today, but it's part of it, something you have to know. 
it is better to have a proper plan of the location you want to start your business so that you can know whether the business is going to favor you or rather there's going to be market for you in that business things to consider first not the profit now let's go into our discussion today number one finding a marketplace finding a marketplace is something you can do on your own especially if you have your uh, fish or your pig or your rabbit or your chicken in a small scale. So maybe you have them at home and you have up to 50 pieces, you have up to 100, you have up to 200, 500, depending on the uh, type of livestock you are going into. You have to find a marketplace. Finding a marketplace is going to abattoir. For instance, if you are into cattle farming, you have to locate an abattoir where they kill cattle so that you can talk with people that kills cows there kill cattle there so that you will be able to sell to them whenever time you have enough to sell especially if you are going into it in large quantity and you wouldn't want to restrain them due to unavailabilities of buyers so the best thing you can do is to locate a marketplace and have customers that buy it from there it could not be even majority of time people that buy it are not people that uh that kills they, they, they are buyers on their own. They only buy and take it to that place because it's an abattoir. Then they will help them to kill it. If you are into pigry and you can locate an abattoir because of your country, your state or your location, uh, countries like Asia and other countries like China that they consume pork meat much, they have a special abattoir. I don't know, maybe it is abattoir they call it, but I shall know where the key animals are abattoir, right? So... It is not easy to locate an abattoir here in Nigeria or in any place. But the best thing you can do, the best marketplace you can locate for your pigry if you want to get buyers is very, very simple. Locate where you are going to go out at night. These people doesn't usually come out in the afternoon. Locate there at night. Walk around, go out of your street in the evening around 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the evening. Go out and survey the marketplace junctions those women that sells meats ask them there are some of them that sell pork meats it's not like it's because the thing is forbidden no but that is the perfect time you know people like eating like all this uh grill meat so it is night that majority of people come out to buy all this like suya from outside so it's night that this thing sells much so you go to them madam i'm sorry i don't know maybe you buy uh pigs i have enough pig Tell me your demand. If it is 50 kg, I can produce it. If it is 100 kg, I can produce it. If it is 150, I can produce it. So whatever uh, kg you want, tell me, let me know and patronize me too. And I will also do you well. Exchange number. From there, you have already located a marketplace. And you are not going to do this thing with only one person, knowing fully that they can disappoint you at any time. Yeah, it is business. The time you might want him or her to come and buy might not be the time he or she want to buy. Probably because she have enough or he have enough pork meat on the ground that he or she hasn't self finished. So the best thing you can do is to locate almost two, three or five of them from different locations within your community. So that if you have up to 10 pigs you want to sell and you know that the pigs that these people are going to demand for might not be more than one or two or three depending on the markets they are having per week or per month. And you have up to 10 of the pigs on the ground that you want to sell them for a purpose. And you know if you are going to sell two for one week, sell three for next week, and it takes you up to a month before you sell it, you should know that you are not going to use this money for the purpose of what you want to use the money for. So therefore, you have to have them up to five. When you have them up to five, this one buy two within this week, this one buy three within that same week, this one buy five, this one buy one, this one buy... So you will be able to sell up to ten or up to eight and also use the money for the purpose of what you want to use it. For. If it is into fishery, locate people that do uh, this barbecue of a thing. They usually come out at night too. It is night that people usually go out to buy this. Go to a restaurant, negotiate with a pepper soup seller. Go to a hotel, go to guest house, those chef there. Ask them if they do pepper soup or cook fish, catfish for their customers that do come there. If they do that, let them know that you have fish. They should tell you their demand, their desired size. If it is one kilo, if it is 1.5, if it is 1.2, if it is 2.5, negotiate with them, get closer to them, get information, exchange number. 
tell them that they are affordable and also make them understand even if they don't have enough space to stock it in their place if you have an alternative to help them stock it in their house whereas they can be feeding them till they pack it within a week tell them that this is one way or the other to find the market for your livestock even before they are readily available so if you are able to do this you are locating a marketplace for your livestock it is not always about no, i'm too big for that you are shy you are the, this is your business that is why i told you some time ago in one of my videos that if you are going into agriculture because you want to make money you will end up failing yes you you will get discouraged and leave because you won't be able to deal with it but first if agriculture is your passion then the business will come to you later on when you start so don't always take agriculture for business, 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 business. No. First, it should be something you have passion for. When you have passion for it, the passion will drive you into making business out of it. And gradually, gradually, you are going to get to the point you are supposed to get to. So that is that about finding a marketplace or locating a marketplace. Number two. Creating an awareness through billboard. This one is very, very simple. You can have been to different places, like I've walked in some streets, and you are going to see them writing using chalk or using paint to write in front of their door, in front of their gate, or rather make it an hanger in times of billboard. And they are going to write chicken are sold here, eggs are sold here fish are sold here i don't know if you've seen it i've seen it this is one way of passing information to buyers you don't know unknowingly you pass information but you don't know who you are connecting with that's why i said unknowingly it is only the person that you are connecting with that will know what you are trying to pass across to him or her and from there the person is going to locate you take for instance now i mean livestock farmer maybe i'm into fish and i wrote in front of my gate fish are available for sales like catfish are available for sales if you that is not a, a catfish farmer if you are not a buyer and you don't even have anything to do with the business if you come across the notice board you just read fish are available for sales and you'll be going and that's all it has no meaning to you but someone who is into the business looking for where to buy fish will do what will quickly assimilate and say okay seems i have someone to patronize here from there you have already passed information you you know but unknowingly you don't know who you are passing the information to and the person will grab and come to you don't forget the aspect of writing your number on the billboard okay and there's another way of passing information to your buyers through someone that doesn't have interest in what you are doing how take for instance you are a big farmer and in front of your gate you already wrote or rather uh, close to your farm at the junction of your farm you already wrote pigs are available for sales or pig farming here and you wrote all those things pigs are available 20 kg 30 kg are available for sales and i saw it and i'm not into farming i don't even have anything to do with the business i don't even like it but i saw it you know this our brain accumulates information a lot it takes a longer time for the information to even go off our brain so when i get something like that and eventually i have a friend that tells me oh see me i want to go into uh, buying and selling of all livestock produce like uh, chicken eggs or uh, fish or pig at the end of the day i'll be able to recollect oh you don't have a buyer you don't know where to buy but i saw one be bought somewhere some times ago I think I can look it there. Maybe if you see the person, you will be able to buy from there. You will be able to get a place to buy the this thing. So unknowingly to you, you have already connected yourself to a buyer through me who is not interested in buying what you are trying to market. Don't forget, even at the junction of your farm, write it. Don't just write maybe Simeon Farm. Don't just write it. It doesn't make too much sense write simeon farm tell them what you are selling tell them what you are producing write your number there tell them the benefits of patronizing you give them discount all these things are ways to attract market to yourself how much is going to cost you to do billboard it's not much some are uh, 2,000, some are 3,000, some are 4,000, some are 5, some are 10,000, depending on how big you want it to be. It may be in front of the gate, it may be in your corridor, it may be anywhere. Just hang it there. Everybody passing by will see it unknowingly 
one day one day you will connect to a buyer that will be coming to buy from you so that is that about that number three using social media in this days they used to say if your business is not on social media then you are 50 percent towards failure because you are in the time in the generation or period of social media and information imagine making just a single post and they reach out to millions of people and out of that millions of people you got 50 or 40 or 30 percent of people that are doing something relating to what you are doing and almost 20 or 10 percent of them take interest in buying or rather in going into what you are about to do just as i'm connecting to you you are watching someone else is watching everywhere so they are connecting and they are assessing the information and learning from what i'm about to teach so this same way you can use to do what to market your livestock produce how do you do it there are ways you can easily do we have facebook we have instagram we have tiktok we have this is it link linkedin or link whatever it is called we have a lot of platform you can even create a website for your farm or rather for the things you want to uh, sell we have telegram we have a lot of groups on telegram that you can join i have i've created a personal one now i'll be trying to find market for that one too it is called any business marketplace so there you can market whatever thing you want to sell or rather buy from that group as it gradually grow you see the one of facebook the one of instagram and the one of telegram it moves faster and connects you to numbers of people than every other platform when it comes to facebook i join a lot of facebook group Yes, I'm in a lot of Facebook group. You can join them as you are seeing the list. If you join there, just snap what you have to sell. If it is pig, if it is fish, snap it, post it. I have so so things for sale. Write your address, write your number, tell the price. Whoever is willing to buy, should buy, should come to your DM. Whoever is not willing to buy should go and please disappointment will come you will meet different kind of people with the way they talk the way they act the way they do everything you should learn how to deal with people in their own ways so this is just the best way to sell your market online there are people that are going to talk you down talk your business down or say all kind of things you don't need to be discouraged and you don't need to give up one day one day you will meet a better person that is going to buy from you if it is fish snap it write it Tell it if it is if the price is negotiable, put it there. The price is negotiable. Tell them your location. Tell them you needed buyer. Tell them the amount of fish you have. Tell them the number of kilo. Give all the necessary information, and you are going to see yourself selling all these things. If you don't take your business beyond physical transaction to online, then you are beginning to fail yourself little by little. If yours is a big farm, create a website. Get a web designer, a website designer or someone that could help you to be posting there. The person will be helping you to post. You, you, the person could just make it in form of an ad. So it will just be popping up on Facebook, popping up on Twitter, popping up on everywhere, on all platforms. Surely out of the million, billions of people accessing internet, you will meet your own people that are on the same platform with you and would love to buy from you. So don't joke with social media. If you are an illiterate, sorry to say that because we still have few of us that are illiterate in this world of today. So you can get someone that is educated. You can employ someone that is educated. Or rather you can use your children. You can use your wife. You can use your relative. Anyone that is what that you, that is trustworthy lawyer and that is sound that is not an illiterate you can just give them some amount of money to just be helping you do that they will go online assess check some groups see if it is buying you buy if it is selling you post you get buyers from there you are going to be selling your market number four personal marketing do you ever wonder why buyers make more money than farmers they buy stuff from yeah, it is because they develop the skills of selling things at their own space and even at their own relief. They sit at the shop and they, they don't negotiate with you. This is how much this thing is. And you have to buy it. At times, if it's worth negotiation, they negotiate. If it doesn't worth negotiation, they will tell you, leave. This is the amount I bought this thing and I can't sell it in this amount. 
and they are making more money than you farmer so it is better you practice this personal marketing this is just a simple way to learn about it if you are into fish farming go out go to where those retailers used to sell fish to consumers price madam how much is one kilo yes you are willing to buy at least try to buy so that they don't get angry madam how much are you selling one kilo of this size one kilo is 1,600. You have it in your head. Madam, how much are you selling this two kilo? Just price. This two kilo is 2,500. You have it in your head. Madam, do you have three kilo? And how much is three kilo? Even if the person is getting pissed off, you are beg no verse now. I'm just trying to know which one I should buy between the two or the three options. So if they, if they tell you, very good, continue from there, you get all the necessary information you want to get from there and also learn how to scale. So when you do that, buy the leads you want to buy from R and leave. Get your rubber busy, get everything necessary and start your own business at the corner of your junction. Whoever wants to laugh you should laugh you. This is how business starts. And at the end of the day, if you start making more money, you will be the one laughing at them and not them laughing at you. Rather, they will be jealous, not knowing how much you started with shame. And if you have a wife, she's doing work and the work is not bringing money, like it's not bringing enough money home. Instead of you to be selling the fish out, why don't you stop your wife from doing the job she's doing and start uh, this personal marketing? Like get her the rubber basin, get her skills, get her every necessary this thing, equip her, uh, teach her and let her it should be taken from your farm now she's not paying for transportation only and if you, you want transportation the cost won't still be much let her take from the fish you have in the compound and sell it make her understand how much each is worth and make her understand how much each should cost outside there when once it get outside teach her how to skill teach her all the necessary skills she needed to sell what you have on the ground and from there you will see both of you didn't find instead of selling for buyers at a smaller level, you sell on your own at a bigger amount of money. If it is peak, learn how to kill and learn how much each kilo is worth. Buy a kilo, start selling it in your area, in the corner of your house. If you can even do all this uh, grill something like uh, barbecue, if, if it is your brother, Tell him if he's jobless, let them start. All these small, small things we use our eyes to commonize, like they are not relevant. They are actually relevant. Start it little by little. And at the end of the day, you will see that, yes, you are having market and you are making progress in your farming. So this is all I have to discuss with you about finding market to your uh, livestock business in Nigeria. Don't forget my name is Simeon O. James. If you have anything to discuss with me or if you need a consultation, please slide to my... Don't I don't take calls much these days. I'm sorry to say that you could just message me. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to share and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.